Hey guys, Boss1925 here. Today I'm going to show you a craftizer I built. Some of you might recognize as the Hermes from the almost said Interstellar the Martian. So I don't well I have not read the book yet. I mean I'm getting it now. I've ordered it but it hasn't arrived yet. That's the uh, worrying is the friend robotics George can hear. Yeah, you can see right up at the front. That's the only actual docking port that can be docked to. Uh, the Mars user, I think, is this one's called the Taurus HCV, the Sentinel, whatever the asteroid they might pack. Tweak scale and infernal robotics. And I did this because it looks more like the command module of the. Hermes then is the stock 2.5 meter one and that, and 2.5 meter one does appear too small. You can see I have the two cupolas on the top here. I built this myself. Just, like, it, it's like 269 parts, I think. And it weighs around like 300 and something tons. So I'm presuming it's like the forward crew compartment. Command section, obviously. And here is like this, just a crew thrown backwards, I'm presuming. Well, this is obviously a comms dish. Next, we have the solar arrays. Tweak scale really did come in handy for this part. And unfortunately, I did not use ion engines, I used nuclear engines. But it still accelerates like it's using ion engines. I'm serious, it accelerates like. 68 no what 688 millimeters per second per second that's like 68 centimeters per second well, that's like that's just a bit over two feet well that's like look I'm, I'm sorry I'm not good at converting stuff I use the metric system some people might use the imperial system yeah, you can see the radiators here working away. We have the huge solar arrays in the centrifuge. I'm, I'm thinking of somehow if I can figure out how I release the craft file. And another thing I that I will mention is this has trouble spinning up. You can just tell it to go, you know, spin up because it won't work. You know, you can just use the for the robotics, let me show you. You can just have press that button and start. You need to manually spin it up and then switch over. At least that's the way it works for me. And it does work. So for the past few days here, we've had good weather. Not today. It's lashing run. Okay, I'm presuming you need large solar arrays for the ion engines that you that power the real thing. Now here we have the centrifuge, which is basically the centerpiece of this. And slow down. Go up. Actually. Yeah, I mean, no. No, 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 no. It sort of does create artificial gravity. Not too much, though, because it's going to fling you off. But yeah. And Kerbals would normally be inside, but I don't have any crew command pod thing. Also, I can't wait for Bob Fitch's um, Project Gold Strike, the next one later today. Well, some of you might know Bob Fitch won something in the Oscar B Awards. That was like a few weeks ago, anyway, so some of you, most of you will know. Sorry, I'm glad to get distracted away from Hermes. Okay. Also, I'm going to mention there's only two people aboard this spacecraft who could pretend to be Mark Watney. I'm saying that is there's only two male Kerbals on board. And the rest are female. Just so we have kind of better infinite infinite field. There we go. 
Now up where you go, we don't want you to crash. Don't get hit by the centrifuge. Also, I can't wait for that film to be released. Yeah, I can... Oh, no, that one's working fine now. It's the other one. No, but one of these, like, they were going... It was going in reverse, so I was trying to spin this. Yeah, the struts keep this together. It... This thing... Oh, it turns, like... It doesn't turn too well. But then these are two little kind of re... Well, that's probably, like, resupply and storage and things. And I think this is where the crew section ends. And now we have some more solar arrays. And then there's like a crew tunnel through the solar arrays. <laughs> no crap. Crap. I anyway, had a quick save, not, not that long. Okay, now we're back here. Just because I did have a quick save. Now, this now I can show you guys how to get the sucker to spin up. This is what I mean when I say it has trouble spinning up. It takes it takes some time getting started. Once you do, you just switch over to this. And that should keep you going. And you're and you should. Okay, I guess it's just doing that for. Let's check out they both rotating correctly. That's that one's rotating correctly, so I'm presuming it's going good. Now, Valentina, you're going to be on EVA again. Um, I had to reload because Val crashed into one of the radiator panels. Let's hope she doesn't make that mistake. So I just remember. Which one of those are some external stor storage platform like what they have on the station? These are all fuel tanks, so all the fuel tanks are filled with Ella. I, I almost said liquid fuel oxidizer, no, it's just liquid fuel. And yeah, you can see. I, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I'm presuming some battery stuff. And then we have, but I, I would probably like argon. I think is what they'll be, what they'd be using for, is what they use in the. I think argon is what they use in the book. But yeah, you can see, uh, because I didn't want to install a mod for spherical thing, I made this. That's pretty good. And we have the radiator panels all the way along here. You want those reaction wheels, trust me. Now is only when I really got the scale of how big this is. And you can see back here, the brake. And you can see here, these are, in real life, this would probably be some sort of large ion engine. First, it's a large nuclear engine. It's never been, well, it has been powered on once when I was testing the system, but yeah. Other than that, it should be completely safe to come back here. And then, besides case, we can model one. Actually, I'm just going to show you how slowly this thing accelerates and put. I'm just going to put Val here. Switch over. Now let's look back to where Val is. So she's just sitting there, blah blah blah. And this is accelerating full force, so you can see it's not it's not a lot. I mean Val is just very slowly drifting out. However, I will get this to do now. Probably use. Well, prob probably has enough delta v to get there, but you know, I'm not. I'm not going to be worried too much about delta v. I'm just going to do it to make it look awesome. Hmm. These look off, so I leave them. Nah, too bad, I guess. Yeah, those are definitely off. Crap! 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 Okay, Val. Didn't get back in your capsule. And we'll. I guess we'll just start burning prograde, I guess. 
I guess. Well, we should just... We start burning... Great, and Vaz going to dodge that solar array. I do wonder how long this burn will take. Actually, I should... Well, you can see that I... I think I did a pretty good job of building the Hermes. And you guys see that I'm... That you saw how much trouble I had with the Dnieper. The Dnieper. That's how I pronounce it. I finally figured out that you pronounce Dnieper, Dnieper. Oh, I'm talking about the launch vehicle that's the Ukrainian side of launch. Also, the missile variant, the, I think it's the SA-18 or something. Look, the only way I found to get into this launch, you pretty much just force yourself there. And then you can grab it. No! No, 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 God damn it, God. And the bad thing is, that's the only hatch that you have access to. And get on board. So you can see the center of mass is really far back because, you know, the huge fuel tanks, I'm presuming. Jesse can go here. Regal. We'll go. Ugh. Okay, off real quick. I want to see Sunny. Let me just look. V, V. So that's just kind of like a lower table. Oh, they've got. Ha, <laughs> that's, that's actually awesome. Soft drinks. Yeah, that's when the Kerbals are transferred over. See, this is a huge thing. I mean, this is Val all, all along at the top. Because, you know, I did have to take a few. Actually, you see as much as I thought you would be able to see. Well, you can see one of the large, the large arrays. See the other cupola there, but you can't see much, so I'm just going to get out of here. And now I'm going to get out of here. Yeah. Point pro grade. And I guess I'll just fire the engine, let me. Yeah. I'll be burning for quite a while, so I'm just going to end the video here. Uh, look, just look at how slow that thing's accelerating. I'm about to end 25. Goodbye. Might make another video when we are at Duna. So yeah, but until then, I'm about to end 25. Goodbye.